Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today, we have got another Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 video, and today we are going to take a closer look at the monk. Now, uh, what we're going to be talking about is what are monks good for? Because that is something that uh, I hear a lot of people discussing, um, both in the comments section, both with just people I, play, uh, I know D who play D&D, &D, and... Yeah, we're going to talk about what the actual role of the monk is, because a lot of people, um, they get all up in arms about how the monks are terrible because they just don't hold a candle to the fighter. They're not as good at fighting as them, which is true for the most part. Yeah, they they aren't as good at melee combat as the fighter, and that's what they do is melee combat. Sure, yeah, but that's not their real role, and it's something that is, I've had a very hard time explaining to people that their role is special. What they do is they have a crazy high movement speed, something that is really unmatched by any other um, class or anything out there. They're, they're just crazy fast. And on top of that, they also uh, have a lot of skills that assist with movement um, and a number of features that help with movement. Monks are quite good at getting where they need to be, and they're pretty competent in melee combat. Yeah, they're not as good as the fighter, but they're relatively close. You know, their base attack bonus is, you know, a little bit lower. They only have an average base attack, but that flurry of blows helps make up for things. It gives them that extra attack. Um, their damage is going to be somewhat close to that of the fighter. They're not that far away in terms of damage output and in terms of other physical capabilities. They're not that far behind other martial characters. And they're much, much, much faster and much, much, much better at getting where they need to be. Why does that matter? Well, a simple fact of the matter is your standard party is going to have your tanky guys, you know, your fighters with their high AC, those guys are going to make up the front lines, and they're going to attack each other. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you're also going to have your back lines with your archers and your wizards and your sorcerers and your various other casters. Uh, sometimes you're going to see, uh, sometimes you'll see clerics in the back. Although clerics sometimes go in the front as well. Um, clerics make pretty good tanks, in all honesty. Um, but you're going to see all the squishy guys with, uh, which are, tend to be the guys who do the most damage. Uh, hiding in the back and then you're going to see your guys who do less damage um, but the ones with the higher defenses fighting on the front lines and those guys will you know like I said duke it out meanwhile while the high DPS guys um, fire shots at each other from the other side um, either firing shots at the front lines guys or if they can uh, work it managing to uh, fire shots at each other now what the monk does is the monk kind of breaks that stereotype. The monk goes right on around the uh, front lines and goes right for the guy in the back, the nice wizard or sorcerer or uh, ranger or uh, whatever kind of archer's hiding in the back. Uh, you know, the squishy guy who's doing a ton of damage. The monk is really good at getting to them, just bypassing everything and getting right up in that guy's face who doesn't like people getting in his face. He's, very, he's you know, this character who's built to not have people get in his face and let his allies handle that. The monk says, I don't care. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get in your face anyways. And, you know, his allies often have abilities that make it difficult for people to get around them. The monk can. The monk's fast enough. The monk has uh, all the ranks and tumble and jump and all those great skills that are really good at getting around the battlefield. Um, and yeah, uh, with the right um, builds, you can even get them a fly speed to deal with that uh, later on. Definitely something doable. And their speed bonuses do apply to uh, all their all movement forms that they have. So if they have a fly or a burrow or whatever kind of speed that they manage to get, that will apply too. So yeah, the monk is all about going for that squishy wizard in the back uh, or that squishy uh, archer in the back and just taking them out, which can be crippling to the party when the monk does that to them. Um, that's the monk's role. 
Um, and then, you know, once the monk's taken out, the enemy wizard or sorcerer or uh, ranger or whatever it is uh, hiding in the back, that's going to really shift the, uh, the, the, turn the tides of battle in your party's favor and make it so that the rest of your party can clean up against the fighter and that, yeah, the monk can't match the fighter one-on-one. -on -one. He's not designed to. He's designed to take the wizard or the archer, uh, you know, the, the, the ranger or the ranged fighter. Um, those guys tend to be a little squishier. The monk is designed to go for those guys, the guys that are doing the most damage. And that's the monk's role. Um, so, yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. Hopefully that clears some things up. Um, leave a comment down below. I'm looking forward to reading them because I'm sure it doesn't clear things up near as much as I would like it to. Um, because, yeah, people always seem to get confused on this one. Um, but anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Uh, I do all sorts of D&D 3.5 videos. But anyways, as always, I'm Mitch, and I'll be seeing you.